Hey, so now we began recording. So hey, everyone, welcome to the part oh, good. two. Here we are. <laughs> One part, yeah, part two, um, of this, and we're we're heading into the uh, oh, we've started the King, the uh, Piccolo saga. Oh. What uh, what crazy moments did we have last time? Uh, Goku was named Genmei. Yeah. Um, Oolong, uh, Genmei gave away underwear to Oolong. <laughs> Oolong wished for the underwear. Genmei had to take the underwear from the Great Eight Transformation and returned it to him at the World Tournament. <laughs> yeah. What else? Uh, a... then we, uh, uh, Pilaf is a good guy. Yeah. Uh... Now. <laughs> and that actually brings up another point: is that Pilaf wouldn't have been the one to, you know, to release King Piccolo. Yeah, we we thought uh, a good replacement on that one would be General Blue, since yeah. he wasn't killed. Yeah. Um. So General Blue pretty much escapes because he pr must have just tricked a, um, one of the police officers transporting him, uh, into getting off the blindfold, and he just sort of escaped. And they eventually found the uh, c container. Uh, somehow, mm -hmm. he did. <laughs> Let's just say. I imagine he would go back to uh, what's left of the Red Ribbon Army compound. Yeah. Do a bit of research, and maybe they had some data on it. Yeah. And so, eventually, usually he would release and become one of... Probably, be, yeah, become like a, a loyal member of, uh, you know, Piccolo's rank. Yep, King Piccolo's ranks would... would... Uh, have uh, General Blue and then he as would, part of it. And then he would be killed by um, either Yajirobe, Genmei, or Krillin. Yeah, he he would he would be killed before uh, King Piccolo went down. Actually, who did we say died uh, from from Tambourine? Is that still Krillin? That's Yamcha. Oh, no, that was Chi Chi who died. Chi Chi, because Chi Chi is is now more of a warrior in this. And she jumped to go get the power pole. And yeah. when Genmei and Krillin came upon the body of Chi-Chi, all that happened and Krillin went with Genmei. So it, it's not only Genmei that uh, King Piccolo has to contend with, it's also Krillin. And I like so would Krillin this... die here? I don't I don't think so. I like the idea that this uh, this por portion of the story is simply... Is is kind of developing the relationship would be developing the relationship between Krillin and Genmei. As uh, you know, not just friends, but something. Else. There's a potential, yeah. It's got, like, it's got potential. I had the fact that obviously it would when uh, General Blue dies, he then sends. Uh, I think he would just, just he would um he would then create symbol and send that that one off, or or he would he would get or he would or he he would already. Get uh, he just get Tambourine to go ahead and fight and you know get that Dragon Ball because well I imagine Tambourine would know that two people are following him. Well, they weren't following. He thought he killed both of them before. So ah, uh. so Tambourine he was he was he was out you know killing about all the different martial artists right. So and but... at the same time, King Piccolo he was old at that point and every time he made a child he grew closer to death yes so it, it's a case it's really it, it's a case where he would just send tambourine off to uh go and deal with that and he would and he'd be the one who got cooked and eaten by yajirobe right so yeah chi chi's death chi chi's uh killer has been has been thwarted like normal yep um and now... uh, we would have uh general blue dead and well. General Blue would be sent after them. Well, I think General Blue would have been sent after Blue was killed. Um, by... So, you, so okay, so Tambourine shows up after Blue is killed. Yeah, and then once Tambourine is killed, then King Pilo's like, Right, I'm dealing with this myself. <laughs> and similar events, I assume, would go, go down. But um, it would be a case where uh, King Pickle is way too much. For, for Genmei and Krillin. Um, and I, I like this idea that when it, when we get to the fight, is that it, when Genmei gets knocked down and is out for the count, it's then Krillin comes in, and I'm not going to have him die. I, I think just keeping him alive this time around and not just killing him. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, so he would be fighting, and I think this would begin to, sh- uh, like, you know, Genmei would see this in a weakened state and would begin to kind of have the, have the cogs in her head start to turn like, huh, even though he's way outclassed, he's still going in on the attack. Oh, that's interesting. As, okay. As she's, as she, well, she doesn't understand the feelings that she's feeling. She, she doesn't know what they are. It, it's something to kind of hint at, okay, it's a, now not only a one-sided um, thing with Krillin. Well, I mean, I imagine with, with Genmei, she she has more experience talking with Bulma. Yeah. So Bulma would have given her a general idea. But, but I, I we're still also think, having I still to deal with a character. That, I still Wrong. think Genmei wouldn't under, really understand. Yeah. We still have to deal with, like, what's basically Goku. So she would, like, look at, at how Crow is does, doing the battle thing. Uh, like, standing up for her in battle against King Piccolo. She would realize it and kind of in her head be like, huh, neat. Yeah. And it would just go right over her head. Like... Yeah, but I... I like, she, I does, like... She, she understands this is basically what Palma was talking about, but she just is like, huh. Yeah, okay. I, I still think there'd be some level of, uh, kind of, not, she she would, it would be subconscious, so she wouldn't be consciously aware of having any kind of... Kind of like Goku's feelings for Chi-Chi, having... Yeah, but... Only honestly, sprouted after fighting. That's the thing, uh, Krillin and, and Genmei's relationship would probably be a, little, a lot better than with Chi-Chi, because Chi-Chi really didn't understand Goku. No, Chi-Chi didn't understand much of any other person, to be honest. Yeah. But um, I still say that in this case, if Kr- I don't want to say Krillin just dies here, otherwise that would be just like, oh, it's going the same way as normal. But instead, pretty much uh, Piccolo uh, says, you know, give me the Dragon Ball, otherwise this guy dies. To um, so again, they would surrender the Dragon Ball, or I guess Yajirobe would have it. But because at this point, Piccolo is more concerned with the with getting his youth. He can he can. He can uh, murder and pillage all he wants after he gets his youth back, and mm-hmm. making sure. Oh, here's a thought. Here's a thought. I'll I'll spare your life if you tell me where you hid the Dragon Ball. Like while he's, while he's holding Krillin. Like I'll spare your life if you, uh, if you sh- tell me where you hid the Dragon Ball. Uh, I, I don't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then yeah. where is it? Uh, and then that's where Yadrobi would <gasps> kind of. No, no. Wander in. <laughs> Wait, is it this thing that you're looking for? Yes, give it to me now. Uh, j- drop yeah. the kid first. <laughs> j- drop the kid first. Yeah. <laughs> j- drop, j- so, yeah, he just throw Krillin and he just could take the Dragon Ball and, and, and fly off. Because this time he doesn't yeah. have the airship. You're right, he doesn't. No, so he'd just be flying around with um piano. Would he have a red ribbon airship? Possibly. We can see that. And it, it mm-hmm. brings it continues the theme of this what if where well yeah where um each of the villains of the previous arc kind of get overshadowed by the next yeah, yeah. So the only difference between uh like you know the next arc is gonna be arc is gonna be Piccolo Junior yeah so it would it just be a continuation of really. it would just be a continuation from there it wouldn't even be an overshadowing yeah. <laughs> And then Pilaf was overshadowed by the Red Ribbon Army. The Red Ribbon Army was overshadowed by, uh, fucking King Piccolo. <laughs> so, so, at the end of the day, uh, Krillin and and Genmei would still need to get transported to Corrin's Tower. Krillin, which, Krillin yeah, doesn't know. there. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, Drover is there. He has the car that they yeah. drove in. So he he's he's gonna be the one to get them to Corrin's Tower. Krillin doesn't know what Corrin Sour is, but Genmei does, because she's already been there. Yeah, and, and Krillin, what I imagine, would, like, trust her, because he knows how much stronger she's gotten. Yeah, but Krillin is probably in a in a worse shape than Genmei is, but... Yeah. Yeah, they're still both alive, for now. The thing is, I don't think Yajiro would be strong enough to carry both of them. Well, you just get Bora to go up the tower as well Jeez, i i would think bora would stay put that's the thing like i would i think like because because bora still can't trust upa to defend their home like upa's still too weak as far as that's concerned yeah so i imagine uh genmei oh they, would... um 
We just say Yajirobe what takes. What process? Yajirobe takes uh, Genme up to the uh, up to Corrin's tower. She gets a sensor mm-hmm. bean, gets another sensor bean for Krillin, and then just drops it off. The... Yeah, drives. Yeah, just drops it off the tower, right? Yeah. And then it said, as soon as as soon as we get up there, we're gonna drop a bean, and uh, so like they'd set up a sheet around the like like a few sheets. Well, they around don't the, know about the, the tower the sensor bean, so she'd just be. Either that, or she, or she transports the bean down herself, as she can just go up and. Yeah, because then we, uh, we, she would do that, and uh, oh. she wouldn't let Krillin cheat. But no, considering but the scene, the Nimbus... oh, I'm just the scene of Genmei, you know, putting the sensi bean in Krillin's mouth like chew. Yeah, and, and then just yeah. and the Krillin's eyes open. He's like, "Are you, are you an angel?" Yeah, that would be, um, so, that, the, that's the way some, that that's I see some the scene... ep- Star Wars Episode One dialogue right there. Yeah, yeah, so, the way I see the scene going is, uh, you know, Genmei gets, uh, delivered to Corrin's, and she, ri- and then we get the trivia of, it's like, oh, but I can't get down there and back up really quickly, the Nimbus was destroyed by Tambourine. Uh, well, kid, the Nimbus cloud can't actually be destroyed. What? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and call it? I, I guarantee it'll come to you. So oh. she gets beans, and she rides down. She gives Krillin the sensu bean, and Krillin's like, okay, so can we go up to Corrin's now? Yeah, it's like, but... uh, the rule is that you have to climb up yourself. And... Bye. She flies off. <laughs> I mean, she'd climb up herself, but she'd just be... But... Yeah, this, this it's only it's only similar to like that whole uh, got, um, Genme giving um, Trill and the Sensu Beans only uh, only it's you know instilling that you know crush Trill has on Genme even right. more. And uh, meanwhile, while this is going on, Roshi, Tien, Chaozu, and Yamcha yeah, and are all searching Ox for King. the other Dragon Balls Ox King. and Ox King. Yeah. Because Chi Chi was there, Chi Chi was killed. Nox King wants to revive the daughter. Are we going? Uh, are we going based on the movie pamphlet where Ox King's power level was nine hundred? No, we we discussed that before. It's not going to be nine hundred. Okay, what? So weaker than King Piccolo? Uh, weaker than King Piccolo. Mhm. Stronger than Roshi. Stronger than Roshi, weaker than King Piccolo, but Roshi and Ox King are the best bet as far as a duo is concerned. Yeah. Do they succeed with the two extra hands on deck at the evil containment wave? Well, if more people, if more than one person does it, it kind of evens out the uh, the be even the the power used is lessened in each person. Uh, yeah, but I was thinking more along like the only reason Roshi died there is because he missed. He missed. So would someone like be holding the jar? Oh, or the rice cooker, I should say. It's like Ox King just, you know, full Nelson's King Piccolo. Does he get sucked in too? Hmm. Sealed away with King Piccolo until Ox King, uh, until someone stronger than King Piccolo comes along. Though, I guess, hmm. I, I think we should still, it, it should still kind of go similarly to normal, but it's just, um... We've got more bodies now. Got more bodies. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Roshi and Chaozu would still probably die, both of them. Yeah, uh, it's likely that um, Ox King and Roshi sort of disabled Tien and Yamcha so they wouldn't interfere. So they're safe. You know what? I I, I wouldn't say the same for Yamcha, because Yamcha, ha- by this point, has made a rapport with Roshi. Right, they know yeah, each other. Yeah, but I so think, like no, it wasn't a ma- it wasn't about Roshi not, not trusting Tien. It was just about he didn't want Tien to you know sacrifice his own life and you know to so he'd probably still do the same with the armchair either way. I yeah. don't think it's well. I was thinking I, I was the way that I had the thought process right was was like he'll paralyze Tien. Yamcha would would tell Roshi like, "What are you What are you planning on doing? Then, why, why are you doing this?" And then the Ox King paralyzes Yamcha. I was thinking just Yamcha carries Tien away. Like, uh, okay, I get it. Oh, this, I see. This might not work. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, Yamcha, it's based on his old bandit persona. He's more tactical. Yeah. 
So he would be able to see, like, okay, the old guys want to give us young guys a, a fighting chance if this doesn't work well. We're going to get a good distance away if this evil containment wave does not work. And should it not work? Cause... And, and then it doesn't work. And then Roshi dies. And Ox then King... Chiaotzu also dies. Does the Ox King get killed or just knocked unconscious? That's a big heft of man, to be honest. Yeah, uh, there, there is a lot of him there. So he could just... It, Piccolo could to... just... Pic, King Piccolo should could have just pulled a um, Piccolo Jr. and says, like, to ah, pull You missed from... all my vital organs. All of them? <laughs> all of them? <laughs> uh, to, to pull from my favorite Dragon Ball movie, the Dead Zone movie... That some bitch was still alive after the Spice Boys attacked him. Yeah. So I I would think yes he would be knocked out. Yeah. But he would definitely survive, and, and I think it's with blast, his a knowledge whole, and a whole blast in his shoulder probably. Yeah, yeah, some some sort of grievous wound that he's had to recover, and so, I can't I I can't do the evil containment wave in, in this can't, kind of. Fight. I, I can't do the evil containment wave in this state in this state it's gonna take me time to recover oh then then teach us old man yeah i mean it was your master that knew it surely you could teach us to do it and we could seal king piccolo are you sure about that boys it'll take a long time and you're talking about my training you know how chi chi fa fared in the tournament my training's not exactly easy yeah and it's um so then the the two would get training from the ox king in order to avenge chaotzu and roshi yeah and meanwhile this is happening bulma uh also puts away uh, collects um, the bodies yeah and puts them in stasis so chi chi yeah so that they're good roshi chaotzu and now chi chi are all in there oh yeah <laughs> chi chi is is dead yep all the while at this point Krillin gets to the top of Korin's tower and is like, where's Genmei and Yajirobe? Oh, they're in the... <laughs> uh, they went in that pot over there. Oh. What? So, Genmei, uh, uh, Genmei and Yajirobe are already yeah. to uh, at the Ultra Divine Water. Um, does Krillin follow or does he just wait? I, I imagine Krillin would wait because he would hear from... Uh, how long ago were they there? Eh, it's been a few hours now. Shouldn't take them very much longer for them to come up here. Although, Besides, I could you see... and I got some training, Baldy. Yeah, oh, Krillin gets to do the training. With... Yeah, gets to chase after the cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, although I do imagine uh, Genmei would bring a, a, a bit of water for Krillin to try and drink. I imagine she would ask, but the spirit at the bottom would be like, No. They must pass the same tests that you did. Uh, too bad, Krillin. But at least Krillin gets some too training. Too bad, Krillin. But, I mean, Vegeta learned how to sense energy without that water for some strange yet apparent reason. Thank you, Toriyama. I think it's just a say so... I think it's just a same thing. Of, oh, like, yeah, oh, I guess. Yes, I, just, I know how to sense energy because I saw it on Earth. Honestly, I, I think it's more like a power level thing. As far as, well, not the not the sensing energy, it, the uh, divine water thing, surviving it. Yeah, I think it's a power level thing. Like if your power level is not high enough, you're gonna die. Yeah, and because Genmei was a Saiyan and got her, her ass beat now twice. Yeah, <laughs> so she's got she's, she's she's got enough of a power level at this point. Yeah, Krillin. Though, though I imagine Krillin's power is going to be much stronger than it is in the normal timeline. Well, yeah, because they're going to be... He, he's going to have that training with Corrin before King Piccolo's dead. Oh, yeah. Like, far before the group went to Corrin's tower in the original. Mm. And I imagine, considering that he was able to at least keep up with Genmei, he would catch Corrin before Yajirobe and Genmei got out of the pot and came back. Yeah, so... And Corrin would be absolutely flabbergasted. Like, ah... Looks like you beat Genmei's record, Baldy. Good work on you. You can have a drink. <laughs> and then it's, then it's tap water. It's just tap water. <laughs> it's it's refreshing, but it doesn't give you a power boost. The training was the power boost. Yep. And the military would be uh, just what? on anywhere because Ox King and Chi Chi are not there to be assailed upon by the military. 
Well, that was before. That was the Red Ribbon Army sailing there. Well, no. It, that, what I'm saying is, like, it was on the way to fight King Piccolo. That's why. That's why Tian had to fight King Piccolo alone for a little while, because Goku didn't catch up. Goku saw Chi Chi and Ox King in trouble, and stopped, helped them, nah. and then was like, "Hey, I have to go stop King Piccolo now." Yeah. And just freaking left. I know it was filler, but if that filler wasn't there, Goku would have gotten there before Drum beat the hell out of Tien. Mm. So speaking Sino of which, Shino would be there, but she doesn't. Really, she's not really a player in this thing. But no, she's not. No, she's not. But she's there. Just yeah. She witnesses Genmei and is like, oh yeah, I know that girl. Yeah. Huh. Nice. Neat. Yeah. Very neat. neat. Meanwhile, uh, Drum is having so much fun playing with both Tien and Yamcha. Yeah. And instead of Yamcha, or instead of Tian being forced to the ground, like, both of them are still standing, but they are out of breath yeah. fighting this thing. And, they, and then and, Genmei comes out of nowhere and just... Yeah, Genmei and Krillin come out of nowhere. And death that thing's... Like, just, I, I could just say they just blast it into oblivion. I, I would argue that Krillin would be like, well, hang on, I know that I'm no match for King Piccolo, that's gonna be your job. Well, let me at least show them how a real student of Corrin takes care of things. Um, okay, like he's trying to show off. <laughs> and he's <laughs> like, oh, okay. Um, okay, you can have him. And of course, Tian and Yamcha are just looking at him like, you're kidding, right? That thing took two of us to even, not even make a dent in it. How does Krillin think he's gonna... Boom! Bam! Bah! Kamehameha! Kamehameha! Dead! <laughs> and Yamcha and Tien are just slack-jawed at the fact that Krillin took him down by himself. And then Piccolo, uh, Piccolo himself is slack-jawed that his minion was taken down that quickly. Yeah, so we don't actually have symbols. Like, yet. on his way back to kind of be next to Tien and Yamcha. Oh, I just he kind thought... of taps arms I, with I just, Genmei and be I like, just, it's your turn. I just thought, um, this would probably be a case where Piccolo would create both drum and cymbal to take on but then Krillin... Ah, to just... take on two fighters. Yeah, and then Krillin, so, just comes, yeah. <laughs> Krillin just comes in and defeats one of them and then just straight up you know, decks the... Uh... So he, yeah, uh, and what? then he, he beats to death one of the, the first one, drum or something, and then he'd come a uh, symbol into oblivion. Yeah, he would he would take out mm, I'm not too sure. Mm, yeah, it could go that way. But I was also thinking cause Symbol had that, that electricity power about him. Did he? Yeah, he did. He um he he was able to use electricity to paralyze his foes. It didn't work on Yajirobi. Because Yajirobe was quick enough to dodge it. But I imagine in the middle of Drum getting his very generous ass handed to him, Symbol uh, would, would paralyze Krillin, be too late to save Drum, but still be able to paralyze him with electricity. Yeah. And that allows Genmei to come in and kind of free him. Yeah, and this is where uh, I'm still gonna give Kr I, I would still give Krillin the kill. Yeah, on this <laughs> because this is the first time we get to see Krillin's signature move, the Destructo Disc. Ah, uh, or the uh, what's and it? and Dicky. symbol would get cut in half. <laughs> it just gets sliced. Like you wanna you wanna use that trick on me? Thanks for the cover, Genmei, but I'm gonna make him pay for that <laughs> Destructo Disc. Or whatever it was in the Japanese one. Uh, Kienzan? Kienzan, yeah. The Kienzan. Yeah, Kien Kienzan! Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, Krillin gets the gets the double win. Yep, Krillin gets the double win with a slight assist from Genmei. Yeah. Now... And, again, Yamcha and Tien are just slack-jawed, wide-eyed. Tien has a third wide eye. <laughs> <laughs> like, how... Huh? Also, uh, the dragons, kids? the dragons being destroyed at this point as well, uh, Shenron. Yeah, the dra the dragon would have been destroyed all the same. Yeah, all the same. So now, and I think, actually, if Piccolo did bring this up to Genmei, 
or some like yeah that's gonna be like she she wouldn't be able to wish back chi chi anymore and that would make genmei angry angry it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a case like in the original where goku was generously getting his ass handed to him just to test where king piccolo's power is in comparison to him him because that, that's one thing i hated about the fight is i was like goku throw a freaking punch yeah stop stop just getting hit and also that. realizing that roshi's been killed as well and oh yeah that, that's yeah. i imagine that news would be told to them by tian and yamcha yeah like o ox king's out of commission because he took a lot of damage from king piccolo but roshi and chow Tzu, and Chi Chi are all dead because of this thing. Take the fight seriously. And, and Game Nate would. Thinking that also your Piccolo likely is going to underestimate Genmei straight off. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because he defeated her the first time. And he's like, oh, what? This girl's going to try and do this again. All right. Let's see. Uh, and then he gets, he then starts getting his ass handed. And would Genmei be stronger than originally? Or just the same? I imagine so. I imagine so, because you had to you had to think Genmei lost to Tambourine the first time. Tambourine the first time. Um, the second time, you know, Yajirobe took out Tambourine, so there was no rematch on that one. Mm. But she also lost to King Piccolo the first time. Yeah. So it's two chances for Zenkai. Like two, instead of uh, 260, it's like 280. I would even go for a flat 300. I'd say 280. Because seems more... the the water itself did, did internal damage to her. You know, that was... That, that that in and of itself was a Zenkai that Goku got in the original. Also, do you think Krillin because... got, got a handful of... Got a, like a bag of Sensu Beans? Oh, her... this, this would be the, the, the origin of Sensu Beans! Sensu Beans! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I imagine he would say, um... Well, chances are my friends are probably already fighting King Piccolo. I, I could use a couple of them. Yeah. And, uh, so big you... kid, take four of them. One for each of you and your friends. And of course, that's when he's like, wait, you know how many are fighting? Yeah, from the sound, from the from the feel of it, it's one of them crane school guys and a guy that seems to fight like you. I can sense him from here. Oh. That must be Yanchi and Tien. <laughs> Yeah, so now it's going so, to be Genmei is is going to start not just not testing herself, but instead just going for the full on attack straight from the mm -hmm. from the get go. Piano would just probably be cowering at somewhere, or Krillin just on the ship probably on the ship. Yeah, yeah. So how would the fight how would the fight go as um, Yamcha, Tian, and Krillin watch? Um, well, I imagine several times Krillin would want to get in. Like, when when Genmei loses control of one of her arms. Yeah. Right? She's that damaged. He would want to step in and Genmei would be like, No! Let me do it. If I fall, then you're going to have to use the Dragon Balls to revive me too. You guys need to be ready to fight. Yeah. I have one arm left, but that's all I need. As she uh, uh, as she launches herself at Piccolo, and we still would get the Super Monkey Fist. Yes, and um, Piccolo would still spit out his egg. Though yeah, this it, time around, Piano isn't killed, is he? This time around, I imagine Piano wouldn't be killed. I imagine Piano would escape and find and the egg. You, you find the egg. find some yeah. way to survive. Possibly, oh, you know what? He goes he, to the egg. He escapes. He goes. He Piccolo's goes for the egg. egg. Yes, that's what I said. He goes for Piccolo's egg. Yeah, and teaches Piccolo Junior all about what he can do. Yeah, and all about his mission. Yep. So now we've got a because Piano, after seeing what's happening there, uh, he's just like, okay, this is a this is not going well. Oof. Yep, and then. Uh... Krillin, who didn't hand out the sensu beans when he should have, hands out the sensu beans. So I think, he would have, I, think he, I think he would have already handed the sensu beans to um, Yamcha and and Tien. Tien. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they would have gotten theirs, but he still would have had two more—one for him and one for Genmei. Yeah. And I imagine he was 
trying to help throughout the whole fight. Like, Genmei would have been against it, but he would have wanted to help Genmei through the fight against King Piccolo. Yeah. Because they were a duo up to this point. They were a duo, yeah. And, yeah, so Piccolo still die. King Piccolo still dies similar to right. normal. Um, and so, yeah, Piccolo Jr. is going to be a thing still. Nice. Yep, and be- and before Piccolo Jr. is grown up, we have to ascend up to Kami's Lookout. Kami's Lookout. With the power pole. Oh, yeah, but uh, first, firstly, that, that power pole was kind of left with the gang. Genmei still doesn't have that. Yeah. Is it the Kami? I think it's a Kami house. Is it? Yeah, it was. It, it, I am, yeah, you know what? Yeah, because Chi Chi went like, to launch, go get it. Launch was is using as a broom. Oh yeah, as a broom handle. Yeah, she, yeah, no, she, yeah, as a broom <laughs> handle. Yeah. I remember that. She she was using it as a broom handle, not realizing it was the power pole. It could be like power but pole. At this extent. time, she, at, la- at this time, launch isn't there, so it's just sort of sitting in the corner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, Bulma is still at Kame House. Yeah. Just kind of. Uh... Chris, so... Oh yeah, Genmei's not the only one who gets like, um, because both Krillin and Genmei kind of did dealt some damage. Yeah, they passed. They passed Corrin's test. Oh. And Does that I imagine mean Krill- like. Yeah, but uh, we, we'll get we'll get to there. We, we're about, but um, yeah, Bulma would probably be. Relieved that Genmei is not dead. And that King Piccolo is. Yes. Like, that news would be there. Bulma would be happy about it. And she would ask, you know, what about the Dragon Balls? And, yeah. Whoa! Excuse me! But it's it's then that uh, Corrin would, uh... Probably, what... Does it communicate through psych... Does can he psychically communicate? He, he can use telekinesis, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he, can... he can use tele... He would... He would tell them, hey, you two, get on back up to the tower. I gotta tell you guys something. Yeah, bring the power pole. And uh, that's where... Uh, so Krillin... That's where Dien would, would let off the knowledge, like, I think they're going to go train with Kami. Kami? Like, what's... That's a Kami. It's basically God. Yeah, yeah. Tien would be the one that, that speaks about it. Actually, I imagine the Ox King would. Yeah. Because the Ox King is still here in the scenario. Yeah. Like... Well, be darned. Looks like they're strong enough to go past Corrin's training. I only heard stories about it from Master Roshi. Yeah, so... They get to, uh... Go and train... Uh, both of them go to train with Kami. I, I would think that Krillin wouldn't immediately. Because Corrin would be... Corrin would be like, Hey, you, Genmei. I got nothing else that I can teach you for the upcoming battle. And you'll know what I mean when you get so, up there. So, uh, Krillin comes up. But you up. gotta go a little higher. Krillin comes up Krillin... In, in, like, six months after that, or something like that. I would say... I, I would say just about a month later. Uh, yeah. Because Corrin would be like, listen, you, I know how I know how the Ultra Divine Water is supposed to act. If you have any evil inside of you at all, you're gonna die. You're gonna do a little training with me so we can get you to be good. Yeah. And then you're going to go after it. And, and when Krillin, you got it... Krillin already knows how to... He can already use the Nimbus without falling through it now, so... Yeah. Well, I imagine that would be his reward for dealing with Corrin for a full month. Yeah. He gets a... Uh... Um, but they, he's, he still would have to climb the power pole to Kami's lookout Well, I imagine that later. Krillin could just go power pole and detract, because, I mean, if, if Genmei... I, th- I think it's just... Whoever's holding the power pole can use it, so... Well, see, that that was the thing in early Dragon Ball is that nobody could fly yet. So what the power pole would do, it would fit in a socket at the top of Corrin's tower. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what it, I know it's what what's meant to. I would say Krillin would go power pole detract. It would come down, then Krillin would. Power oh, he'd pole put his hand on the top of it. Yeah, and then he would go up. That that's what I, that's what I was talking. About. That's what I meant. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, he would be smart enough to do that. Yes. Get, right. like, if Genmei was in that position, she would just climb the pole. She's already up there training. And... Uh, he's gonna be like, <laughs> I'm smarter than Genmei. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And would get, would get up there and meet Popo. 
Yep, and Genmei is training with Popo, and he'd be like, is this Kami? Oh, no, Krillin, but you're going to be surprised as to who is Kami. Yeah, see, as, as Kami comes out, he's like, just a spitting image of King Piccolo. Ah, uh, another visitor to the tower. Ah! <laughs> King Piccolo, as he tries to attack. Although, and then, instead of being blocked by Popo, Genmei is blocking you like, no, 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 listen. <laughs> this is the good King Piccolo. What? Yeah, he, he split himself off. That he, The King Piccolo was like his evil self. And you will be pleased to know that in three months, the Dragon Balls will be ready to be used to revive your friends. I had Shenron awaken sooner so that your friends can be revived. You know, I... As well as everyone else the other side of me has killed. And now that both of them is in front of him, he urges both of them to train. And this is where he drops the bombshell. King Piccolo is not dead. Oh, he had a offspring. Well, well, he, he, had didn't, a he didn't tell Genmei yet. He had a reincarnation. Because Genmei... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't tell Genmei yet because Genmei was all for training with Kami. But seeing as Krillin would be a little bit shrewd about it, like, I don't know, I don't think we should. Well, let me tell you something that will guarantee that you should. The reincarnation of King Piccolo is out there. Oh. Your battle is not over yet. Your battle, yes. So he's... And Genmei will not be enough to handle him the second time alone. Yes. You two will need to learn perfect teamwork in order to, in order to properly get... King Piccolo out of our affairs for good. So we would go through some of the filler things that they did up in the lookout, like uh Yeah. Oh now we... what about the what about the uh room of spirit in time? There's two people. Yeah, there. That's... yeah. Hey, hey, Genmei has a partner to go in with now. I still don't think they'll <laughs> be able to go in there for a year. Uh, Not a full year. I would say a months. good six months. Six months, yeah. Yeah. A good half a year. So, you know, they'd go in at sunrise and they'd leave at sunset. Yeah, 12, 12 They'd both be a little hours. bit taller. Again, May would be much taller than Krillin. Yeah, and she'd start <laughs> she'd start uh, showing signs of, um, you know, yep. female figure. Mm-hmm. And... So, uh, but, that, I mean, that really wouldn't bother her. It would, it, it would, Krillin, Krillin would be curious about it, but. This is his best friend he's talking about. It's he's not more, gonna go that right. To be fair to her, to Genmei, it's it's more just kind of annoying. It's like yeah, uh, chess kind of just is is annoying at times. Mm -hmm. It just gets it sometimes just itches weirdly plus, or it, it's sensitive say, in say strange in ways. Plus, Saiyan physiology is is not very clear as far as do human females and Saiyan females go through the same things. True. Or I, I just are they more of a they... warrior that they just. I guess I assume that it's similar if um, Goku is anything to go by with male Saiyans. Yeah. I guess. I mean, if it, should, if it is, it, it's basically uh, Saiyans are just a high, to, you know, a better version of humans. In a way like yeah, stronger physically. Yeah, yeah I, I I see that. Yeah. So that their means... training would continue. Oh god, that means that um, Genmei is going to get much stronger than her male counterpart. Then. Six months in the time oh. chamber. It's yeah. Room of Spirit and Time. At this point, Piccolo Jr. in the original is not going to hold a candle to Krillin. And for and I, I imagine it's going to be... Get, Genmei's power level is like 416, the same it was fighting Raditz. Yeah. She'd be there already. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's the thing. With, with the weights on. Pic Piccolo also has a advantage in the form of piano teaching him things yeah know. he does have that advantage and uh piano would tell him what a namekian is ca capable of well they don't know they're namekians they don't know they're namekians yeah they just think they're demons right right what king piccolo was capable of yeah, specifically that, yeah that deep and uh what he should be able to do i imagine though um piano would have an unhappy ending because eventually, he would, like, because he grew up really quickly. With Piano telling him he can do all of this stuff, I imagine he will be able to grow up faster. Piano's not going to be much of a 
trainer because he's not I a still fighter. Think be the same. He would still grow up the same time, but uh, he just kills Piano out of just like, ah, uh, don't need you anymore. Like, so let me get this straight. Every creation of my father was a failure in the end. That is correct, uh, King Piccolo. I see. If, and he just well, goes, I guess since you're not strong. And he just goes like, Hyah! and he just uses his, he just uses the key and's like, and it's Piccolo, as he as he drops the king title or the. Yep. It's just it's Piccolo. just Piccolo now. As he goes, wait, ah! and he gets blast. Yeah, he just blasts into yep. nothing. I will avenge King Piccolo and all of you. Then I'm gonna be the one ruler of this world because Piccolo was never an interest interested in having kids or or spawning more demons. Yep. He's... So this Piccolo would be out for blood. Out for blood. Mm-hmm. Well, he was out for blood originally. Well, yeah, but he would be out for blood as in he would not care about what beings his father spawned. He would want to be the only demon to rule the entire world. Yep. He wants all of it. He doesn't want to share it with anyone. Mm-hmm. So he would think thanks to Piano's teachings, he ended up getting himself killed. Yep. Uh, but with the talk about what King Piccolo could do, I imagine this Piccolo would know the multiform technique better. Would he would he have learned the uh, the Monkai Kosopo? I don't think so, cause he he came up with that during the time skip. Yeah, but true. He would get a hold of his powers, and he would actually be stronger than Canon Piccolo, mm. because he knows what his body can do because of piano. Yeah. So he's gonna push those limits because if he knew what his father could do. He would want to do more than what his father could do because there's someone out there that could do more than his father could that killed him. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, so this Piccolo grows up with a yardstick ahead of him. Yardstick. Well, with a goal, with a goal. ahead of it. What, a meter stick? <laughs> I don't know international measurements. <laughs> well, like, like a uh, meter or a kilometer stick. A kilometer stick. A kilometer. Yeah. A kilometer stick. Yes. <laughs> I will not a go. Stick that is a kilometer. Long. I'm not going to go into the whole, like you, you and Americans and your imperial measurement. Uh, oh, you Americans! <laughs> you Americans, you yanks. You're am- <laughs> you Americans. You American Spain. <laughs> See, I was going with the Japanese for another. You American! You are uh, one uh, to, sh- sh- one, all uh, one to uh, rule the world! No, 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 we're gonna get cancelled. <laughs> we're gonna get cancelled. You can't see. Oh, right, yeah, because, do because NFT guy rules YouTube now. Ugh. Yeah, shit. <laughs> you, you're gonna, ca- you're shit. gonna make my, you're gonna cause my channel to do the Well, bye everybody! That was fun, <laughs> so I'm not lasted. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Anyway, so, the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. Yes, and... Because I imagine Tien... I imagine Tien, Chi-Chi, and Yamcha, and Chiaotzu would all be training with Corrin. Uh, Yeah, they trained with Corrin, and then they did that filler stuff. Yeah. With the the volcano. So, Chi, yeah. Yeah, to prepare. I imagine that after Chi-Chi is wished back with the Dragon Balls, Ox King just kind of put... Brings her to a bear hug. It's like, yo, yeah, I'm you very happy you to see her. It's like, yep, everybody would be happy. Yeah. And so they would, um, they would do that, and then they would split off to do their own thing for uh, for three years after that. After they're done with corn training, yeah. yep. And uh, and if you want to get into, I, uh, you know, I think there's a game. Would Chi Chi train near Yamcha more? I don't Are know. we setting up that romance? You could, we could set up that romance. Um, Ch- or is yeah. they're both strong warriors and they start really getting along better as they're training together for the tournament? Hmm. Well, Yamcha and Bulma are still a thing. 
Well, Chi Chi has. Would Chi Chi try? <laughs> That's. <laughs> she might try. She might. Or, or here's a curveball because launch isn't in the scenario. Would Chi Chi try at TN? I I don't know. I don't. Which. Would, would she... Because TN TN was not interested in a relationship. But Chi Chi is 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 stubborn. Stubborn. Cool. And and a strong warrior at that. Yeah, I, t Tien's really never been interested in that romantic or any form of relationship. What I'm saying is, Chi would Chi Chi still try? Because you know Chi Chi at she this could, point. She might still try to do. She that. might still try. <laughs> yeah. She, she may try. She might. She very well might fail in that mm -hmm. endeavor, but. Mm -hmm. Well, like, Krillin I mean, and Genbei's relationship would start to, you know, deepen. It, it would begin, yeah. yeah. I don't think there would be a couple couple. Krillin no, has, there wouldn't be a couple yet. Krillin still hasn't still hasn't got the guts to uh, ask her. Ask Genbei. Nah, yeah, nah. Yeah, he's, he's a bit he like... He'd be nervous about that. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, should, should I? I mean, how should, how should she respond? Yeah... I imagine eventually, like it, it would be Bulma going up to Krillin, like, "Look, either you like her and you're gonna do it, or you don't. Pick one, you know. Pick one." <clears throat> I imagine Bulma would play matchmaker. Yeah. Uh, so, uh we get to the tournament, and obviously Genmei has grown up. Yes, she, she's grown up. She's grown up. She has a decent uh, woman's body, but she's also very fit. Because very saying fit. she is a very she's a very fit, muscular woman. Yep. And Krillin is the definition of wow, big lady. <laughs> His head comes up to her stomach, but that's all he needs. That's all he needs. <laughs> <laughs> so, I imagine also when they meet Master Roshi, Roshi gets gets a pervy time and for the first time Genmei has to punch him or uh, yeah it's <laughs> I mean would Roshi yeah it's Roshi it's Roshi yeah it is Roshi it's Roshi <laughs> but well, he died during he died during the friggin um uh universal survival tournament and as soon as he woke up, where did all the sexy angels go? The, the guy's a pervert. <laughs> through and through. Where did all the sexy... Yeah. So uh, we, would, we would have that bit of, of comedic... I, we would have that bit of comedy in there. Yeah, and she'd just um, probably, you know, knock him into a wall or something. And, and Genmei also would show up to the tournament with Krillin on time. Not almost late in the middle of the rainstorm, unable to sign in. Now, nah, Krillin would be paying attention to the time. True. True. <laughs> and Genmei so they, would make it on time. And get there before the others do. Yeah. And then when the others show up, it's even more of a surprise, like, oh my goodness, hey! And then Chi-Chi would be like, Genmei, you fought... I, I heard you and Krillin got uh, the, the dragon to revive all of us. Thank you. You know, Chi-Chi would be like that. Yeah. Bulba would be, like, surprised to look how much Genmei's grown. Yep. She's just like me when I started the adventure. Yeah, she's, huh. she's no longer a little girl anymore. She she's is not a, a little girl. She's a young woman. A little girl I traveled with is all grown up. <laughs> yeah, very sisterly. Very. Yep. And, yep. and then, surprise, and obviously surprise. You see, you see, if you, I, I could just, you see posters for you. Uh, Pilaf's resort. He's, yeah, he's wearing you, a would, suit. you would see advertisement for Pilaf's. Yeah, he just calls Pilaf's the Pilaf's resort and spa. He just call, he calls the Pilaf. Because no, the... Pilaf has businesses in, during the World Martial Arts Tournament. Oh, he has. His business started on Papaya Island. Aha! So he's one so, of the, he's one of the sponsors. He's there. He's the sponsor. He's one so, of the sponsors of the tournament. Right. So. So he, Shu, and Mai have great seats for this event, and they've souped up the arena akin to what we see in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, oh. Not like, not as big, not, not a big, big stadium. Yeah, but there's actual seats for the audience now. But there's now. seats, 
you know, there's there's concessions sponsored by Peel Off. Yeah. There's there's uh there, there's like you still have the demon head statues, but then you also have a statue of Peel Off. Well, yeah, Peel Off managed in, in the to middle of the square. Peel Off managed to conquer the world in a different way, really. Yeah, yeah, he ended up uh, because it ended up being that way. So yeah. it's like, so so Peel Off ends up seeing everybody after seeing like I imagine Mai would have kept a lookout and uh, yeah. would have said, "Sir, everyone is there at the front. They've all signed in. Excellent. Now to make my grand entrance." Do, 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 do. And it's like they're playing it up like Pilaf's turning evil again. And then he shows up in front of everybody in a really nice white suit, you know? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I love I love this good guy Pilaf. It's it's amazing. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and he's he goes up to the group and everybody's like, Oh hey Pilaf, hey, how you doing? Hey, Shu, how have you been? My, you're looking better. You're you're looking good. Yeah. And uh, I imagine peel off would my, say, my in like a dress "Well, my, my guests, we actually... actually have a, we actually have several suites for you all to stay in your while you're here at Papaya Island, courtesy of me." Yeah. That's so awesome. why do I imagine... they get hotel suites? They get like fucking <laughs> penthouse. Yeah. Uh, also, um, I just want to go over this. Uh, Gen would likely be wearing a sports bra or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I imagine you know because Kami has about all the same powers as Piccolo, so the clothes Close being them. yeah between both of them, the she would get some form fitting training gear that yeah. would that would work out for her. Yeah, as well as gear that would be reminiscent of what Goku wore on Krillin. Yeah, you know, same thing. It, it um, again made like them just wearing this the similar outfit martial arts outfit. Chi Chi would be yeah. wearing the same outfit she wore during this tournament yeah well she was anonymous yeah well she in this time like, she's just chi chi <laughs> she's just chi chi the difference same uniform turtle school symbol nice actually no, well, yeah turtle school symbol because she was still taught by ox king turtle she would have like maybe the symbols emerge into a single thing such so as the ox king turtle symbol or something Tur uh, turtle school mixed with corn. Uh, I, I I just imagine the symbols being put next to each other. I don't know how Japanese works in that respect, but uh, I don't know. It, it, or it'd just be the case where one would uh, there would it would just be a case where the there's a symbol on the back and there's a different symbol on the front. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that maybe that would work better. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. Um, and the one on the front is a cat's paw. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, he just put the paw. <laughs> he just put a paw print there. He just he just put a paw print there. There. And, and here's, my... here's a big change in this, because Yajirobe had to interact with two of them. He's less shy about showing his face, and he doesn't show up as a question mark person. He actually shows up as himself. Wait, what? Why didn't he? Why did he show up as the mask? Well, because yeah. The, the tournament scene is really for me, but I didn't want to prove that I was weak, you know, like that sort of thing. Yeah. So and then ended up getting his ass kicked by Chi Chi. <laughs> uh, yeah. So good. instead of this masked fighter getting his ass kicked by Chi Chi, it's actually Yajirobe that gets his ass kicked by Chi Chi. Yeah. But that does bring up a case of there's an extra, just one extra fighter in this tournament. Because we still have Hero. Right. And I imagine Hero would still get in. So we would still have, like, except that so the we first have match next... was the first match was Yamcha and Hero. No, the... then we no, had... that wasn't that. That wasn't the first fight. It was, uh, I think, it was Tien versus um, uh, uh, Tien versus Tao. Yes, Tao. I imagine Tao would just get taken down in the preliminaries. In the prelim, exactly. He would be taken down in the pl in the preliminaries. Um... After after defeating I'm, Chow, after getting um you know pretty much beating down yeah after beating Chow too, and it's it's not um, even a fair it's just Tien just does not like he gets defeated in the preliminaries he's just a joke that he doesn't even make it any further than that. Here's a thought: Tao versus Yajirobe, <laughs> and then the winner ends up losing to Chi Chi, 
And he, it, here's the thing. When when Tao realizes he's about to lose, he pulls out the blade, and Yajirobe's like, Get me! Hand me my sword if he was to play like this. And it's like... And, and so then, they end up sword fighting. And then Nats is like, wait, hold on, you're not supposed to... Yeah, they both end up getting disqualified because both of them use weapons. <laughs> they both get disqualified. But Yajirobe still wins because he's much stronger than Tao at this point. I mean, he took out Tambourine. Oh, that that would, yeah. <laughs> so Tao, we don't so, even... So, yeah, and, and Tien just looks at him as he walks away like, what a joke. What a joke. Yeah. He, he, he would say, what a joke. And then he would congratulate... Um, Chi -chi. I imagine he would congratulate Yajirobe, and Yajirobe would walk by, fine, whatever. Tournament's not my thing anyway. Yeah. Get a bunch of cheaters at these things. Also, I, I forgot to I forgot to mention. Does Genmei's tail get cut off? I imagine. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Uh, Kami removed the tail and then sealed the wound so that it wouldn't grow back. Yeah, though this time there's only oh. ever been one Uzaru incident. I would still think she would go through with it. Yeah, because she wouldn't want to be on the lookout during a full moon. Hmm. Yeah, and that happens. Too bad. Yeah, no, no tail. So, so yeah, she would she would lose her tail, just like in canon. Um, so Yajirobe would get himself and Tao Eliminated. disqualified. Though Tao defeated Ch uh, Oh, da Tao defeated Chiaotzu. So. Yeah, and then Tao would go up against Yajirobe, and then yeah, that okay, thing would yeah. So then Chi Chi. Yeah. Hmm. So that means. Yeah. So then. Then Tian would fight who? Do we still want to go with Yamcha versus Hero? Wait, hold on. Tao can still be in the actual tournament because Chi Chi was in the tournament originally. Right. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, but this Chi Chi is far stronger now. Yeah. You know, it's. I mean, okay. So the brackets, let's go through the ba brackets real quick. Chatsu could just be put back in. Yeah, Chatsu could. Yeah. Because because Tao was di was disqualified. Thanks to Yajirobe being more active. So, then, yeah, we um, could just say we could just say Chatsu was on another bracket. Just whatever. Yeah, Chatsu Chatsu was put in on on the on the next bracket. Yeah. On that bracket. Like it was the final bracket and because both of them were disqualified, it went to the third place person in that case would be Chaozu. Mm. So Chaozu gets to rest before his fight. Right. Oh. So there we go. So we have Tian versus Chaozu. Then we have well, would Yamcha it be, versus Hero. Would it, would it be Tian versus Chaozu? Well, that's what I'm saying. Do you want to do you want to mix it up a little bit? Do you want to go with... mix it up a bit? Yeah, let's, let's mix it up. Okay. So I would a fun fight because we're not dealing with the romance between Goku and Chi Chi in this, a fun fight would be Chi Chi versus Tien. Oh, that would be fun. That would be a really, really good fight because you're talking about someone who is trained by the Korean school, then the tur Turtle School, then Corin. Yeah. To uh, versus someone trained by the Ox King, then the Turtle School, then Corin. Hmm. So yeah. So we gotta... yeah. And also, she fought Tambourine. So mm. she uh, lost, who but would she Genmei fought Tambourine. Who would Genmei fight then? I I imagine Genmei's fight would still be the same. Just um, Krillin. 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 Uh. And he finally <laughs> decides to like, will you go on a date with me? <laughs> Um, or something, yeah, that, it's, so instead of the whole marriage thing Chi-Chi does, it's like Krillin finally fessing up his feelings. Right, right. And then we'd still get Yamcha and Hero. Yamcha and Hero. Because Yamcha needs to be the first out. Yeah, Yamcha, ooh, Yamcha being That's an classic idiot. classic trope. Yamcha being an idiot as well. Yeah, classic trope, classic. Uh, and then we also, and then for the final match, Porch Chow too. Oh. Chaozu versus Junior. 
Oh, yeah. I thought this is, it would be thematic. Uh, it would be yep. thematic. That it seems like be, yeah. something that could would have happened. Yep. Where we're Chatsu and Yamcha are the first ones out of the crew. Yeah. Tien versus Chi Chi. I, I hate to say it, but I think Tien would still win that. Yeah. Still win. Uh, and then Krillin versus Genmei. Krillin would win. What? Why? Not Krillin. Gen Genmei would Genmei. win. Genmei. I was like, wait, hold on. Hold on. I, I keep thinking that I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. It's a, like, it's, it's probably yeah. <laughs> near me. Uh, Plus, I had, I had like, maybe a 45-minute nap before we started this. Ah. Um, <laughs> so. It's all right. Uh, Krillin, I, I keep thinking Krillin would be fighting Junior, but that's not the case. No, no. Um, it, uh, Krillin versus... But uh, Genmei. Genmei would win. Genmei would win, but at the end of the... <laughs> Genmei would... Right. Like, Krillin would say, you know, you want to you know, go on a, a date? And, Krillin... and then the next bracket no, no. would end up being... I, I haven't finished my thought yet. Oh, go on, go on, yeah. sorry, Get sorry. So Krillin would ask Genmei on I'm a date. Water, are you doing this? And Genmei would be like, uh, okay. Being, you know, still slightly oblivious, but like, just, oh, all right. She would look at Bulma, what's a date? What's a date? <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> she shouted out loud. It's like, uh, hey, Bulma, what's a date? <laughs> it's just like... Instead of your life is over, like what he got from... Yamcha and Krillin in the original again, they would, would get your life is about to start from Bulma. <laughs> and and Bulma would be like, Krillin, Bulma and Chi Chi would, would both chime in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and Bulma and um, and it's what was it? Uh, Bulma would finally Krillin finally nodded up and asked, Finally did it, he finally did it. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Oh, uh, so that that would be a hilarious scene. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Genmei would take this dating thing yeah. seriously. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. We, we, and we'll get to that. About. And we'll get to that a little bit later. Right, because for the next brackets, we have Yum. Hero versus Piccolo. Yeah, that would still happen and, all the same. Well, yeah. So Yamcha would and... get defeated by Hero Kami. Yep. Then Chaozu would get brutalized by Piccolo, and then that that bracket would play out with Piccolo sealing Kami in the jar. Yeah, Tien yeah. Would, would still de get defeated by Genmei, and yep, still... Tien would still, but it would still also be like a great fight, and you would see her like as she was taking off the the weighted gear. I could see Tien instead of being like, "Sure, you have to be comfortable," and just looking. He would look away. Yes, <laughs> like she's wearing, yeah. She basically takes off her top and everything, just exposing her just you know the the sports bra she's wearing to the entire audience. Mhm. Mm Which I mean, most people would think normal, but some people would have the Roshi thoughts. Um, yeah. <laughs> to put it lightly. Uh, uh, and Bob would say, oh, "Genmei never changes, does she?" Yeah. <laughs> she never but, changes. Uh, after she throws it down, Krillin, ahead of time, Krillin would be like, Hey, Yamcha, help me out with this. It's kind of heavy. Yamcha, what? what? How can clothes be heavy? Trust me, I'm still wearing it. We both never took them off because we wanted a fair fight. Yeah. And as soon as Krillin starts lifting something of, of Genmei's, Boma kind of gets angry. At first, until she realizes he's struggling with it. And that's when he yells out, I've got to be carrying like 100 kilo right now. Hi, wait, Krillin, you're wearing this too? And Krillin just like grabs the boots and grabs the wristbands. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Kami really had us going through the... Ringa there. Through some, thro through, through some hard training up on the lookout. So uh, it's it's the way the clothing is taken off, and Genmei then go proceeds to completely outshine Tien. Yep. At that point, it was no contest. No contest. Then it is Genmei versus Piccolo. Would that just play out all the same? Maybe it would, it would. The fight would go up faster because of Genmei's higher strength level. 
that and the six months in the the hyperbolic yeah, time but, chamber. Yeah, that she's a power level four sixteen. Four sixteen. Well, Piccolo's what mid third. Uh, I mean, Piccolo would be a, a little stronger now that he knows what he can uh, do. I think originally, he was in the um, early three hundreds. Yeah, so I imagine he'd be like three fifty, something like that. That's what I was saying. Three mid three hundreds. Yeah, yeah, mid three hundreds. Still, that still means Genmei is. Going. Is outshining him. Yeah. And it, uh, it might lead him to uh, go giant early, which would result in, obviously, uh, Kenmei going down. Kenmei getting the, the thing out of him. Yeah. Only I imagine he would, like, he would suffer a a monkey fist in order, a, a second monkey fist would happen in order to get the thing out. Like, she would not want to go in his mouth and start pummeling him from the inside like what Goku did in the original? Why not? Because because remember back when Oolong was the thing in the first one and she decided oh you didn't want me to break things and that's how she got Oolong to join them? Oh. Remember how she was a little more forward about learning the Kamehameha and had an argument with Bulma. This Goku is a lot more destructive. Oh, yeah, okay. It's so, bit, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a little bit more so, willing to go for the... For the gusto. Go for the gusto. And, and this just, time, she doesn't have a busted arm in the, middle, in the middle of doing it. She thinks she can do it. And she just uses, yeah, she creates an... In fact... Let's just say she has that move. She creates the monkey fist. Yeah. She just has that, like, that's one of the moves that she perfected in the middle of the hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah. Thanks to Krillin knowing the after image technique. Hmm. After image. Yeah, she would She would have had practice with Krillin's after images. Yeah, so it's just, so it's basically, it's a key based thing where it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a Uzaru avatar pretty much. Yeah. That's an Uzaru stand. Oh god, it's an stand. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm oh, sorry. So... <laughs> now I just need Piccolo to pop out his 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 Namekian stand, or we will get a full on. Zawaru <laughs> Oh gosh! Then, All right. Yeah. So, so the she she would get the the thing out the rough way. Throw the throw the capsule to it, and then Piccolo would shrink, and then Namekian healing. There we go, fixed fixed hole. Because you got to think about it, giant Piccolo, a hole in him, that would be a much smaller hole, survivable by a Namekian. Yeah. So, so now with the stadium, so I imagine he would recover it. Was the stadiums would the stadium still be destroyed, or what do you think on that matter? He destroys the stadium after the growth thing. So. Yeah, though. If it came... I imagine he would. Because by, by after the growth thing, he would recover the hole and he would taunt uh, to uh, Genmei. Like, it's going to it's gonna take more than, than the parlor trick you used on my father to kill me. Oh, And then that's... everybody would be. And, he's, and Genmei's like, oh, on God? You, you want to huh? you want you want a bet you want a bet huh? Oh oh on guard oh okay okay I, I was I was wondering what you said there. on guard what? Uh, <laughs> uh so uh yeah so she she would look forward to that because it's like good someone that's not gonna get taken out by a punch yeah that's yeah uh she it's... would. But, um obviously the audience would have flared at the at the knowledge that this is. Piccolo. Yep. Reincarnated. Reincarnated. Yeah. Yep. So, okay. And he would, uh... Hoo he would, uh... Fight with Genmei regularly. The arena would be destroyed. All that stuff. It so would this, go down to that final point. So this time, Pilaf might actually, um, you know... You know, quick... Fa you know, rebuild the tournament grounds faster. With, like, you know money he has. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, it's not as devastated because of Pilaf's additions. Because he is very talented when it comes to tech, weirdly. So, like, people would get out of the stands, 
people get out of the seats. And this explosion caused by Piccolo, you know, destroying the earth around them. Yeah. Wouldn't it wouldn't leave the immediate area as a wasteland. It would leave the immediate area as like a giant crater. Yeah, it would sort of be very vague, like a large port. Like it'd be rubble. It, it would be rubble. Yeah, it w- there would be a ring of rubble around the tournament ring, yeah, and it, the... it, and all of the surrounding stands and thing. They would be safe. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have. Re- it wouldn't have resulted as in the entire uh, stadium, the entire world tournament area being reduced to dust because yeah, it of wouldn't how be much was to added. Dust. It, the tournaments the uh, tournament area itself would just be sort of it, it kind of in ruins rubble and stuff yeah. so that that's interesting yeah so a lot of the stuff a lot of the, the the shopping areas a lot of the stands a lot of the food so, like that all would survive well in some aspects it's still in some aspects um yeah. people would have been evacuated though yeah. thanks to my and shu and being launch, excellent workers possibly and doing that and launch and launch 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 is, is part of that yep so either way less destruction because of how much is built yeah and the fight and... with piccolo would still end similarly with Genmei letting... Would Genmei let him go? Yes. Yeah. She still has the the fighting spirit of a Saiyan in her. Yeah. And while she does have these odd feelings for Krillin, and Krillin is a good fighter... Yep. She is aware that if Krillin was in her position, Piccolo might have beaten him. Yeah. Like, it would have been a close contest, but Piccolo might have beaten Krillin to death. Yeah, but I had a thought. Krillin gets oh, but we'll get we'll actually get to that later on. Well, I'll hold off on that. But um, yeah. So Piccolo just kind of flies off, going, "God damn it, he was beaten." Not yep. dead, but like he's just thinking, "What? I, I wasn't killed? What?" Plus, uh, if if Piccolo dies, Kami dies too. So it's kind of a yeah, not wanting that happening. Because Genmei still and you know what? doesn't want to be the guardian of the earth. And instead of Genmei doing it, I could see Krillin, like, as, when Kami's about to kill him, I could see Krillin jump and grab Kami's wrist, like, no, don't do it! <sighs> I need to end him! But you're Kami! Can't you lie to us? What? Yeah. If Kami goes, then that means the Dragon Balls go too! I hate it just as much as you do, but Piccolo needs to survive. Plus, yeah, neither Krillin or Genmei are going to want that position at, you know, as guardian of the planet. No, nah, neither of them. <laughs> they both say no simultaneously to Kami. Yeah. It's like, mm, nah. And I imagine they'd be like, so where do you want to go to? And uh, Genmei would be like, let's go back to Grandpa's house. Like, what? What? But and, you know they would they would go back to Mount Palazu. But it's the thing if we do if we go by that filler that happened after with Chi Chi and get uh, and Goku, that would might mm-hmm. if you want to do that it'd be it'd be similar. Just it would be Chi Chi having to call up them for help instead of it you know. Chi Chi, yeah, okay, yeah. Chi Chi and Octane would barely survive the flames and all that. Yeah. And, um, Ox King would remember Gohan lived in the mountains. Yeah. So as Genmei and Krillin are building their new home... Well, I don't think they'd be building the new home right... It happens nearly right away, so it would just be a case where they land... Right. Yeah, so then they go on this little adventure with, um... Yeah. And that's the thing, that mountain that doesn't like women... <laughs> Genmei can't go up there. Yeah, there's, there's Krillin a... has to. Yeah, Krillin has to do it. Krillin has to do it. Genmei has to, like, kind of encourage him, like, don't worry about it, you'll be fine, you're almost as strong as I am. And there's no other threats up there, so he just, he's just, no, it's just good, it's, it's a little chill. Mm-hmm. Well, Genmei and Chichi are likely just going to be training together down on the, you know, on the ground. 
and likely blasting a hole through that old woman's house. Yep. <laughs> and still, you know, getting that thing from, from that, yeah, but... that That's really the only thing that would technically change here. Everything would seemingly go normal, except there's no peel-off to really muck things up. Right, and throughout the, uh... The, the time skip going to Z, instead of training alone, Genmei would have a useful training partner. Plus, though, we still have that date that Genmei and Krillin go on, and yeah, I yeah, imagine would... that Bulma would force Genmei to go out shopping. <laughs> Clothes shopping. Yeah, but I don't really feel like this. You know, like, it would... Genmei, I imagine, would complain about, you know, being also, all girly like... for Krillin. I also like the, when uh, Genmei's trying out dresses... Or something like that. She just starts fighting in them, destroying a number of them, and which Bulma has to pay off the people, pay off the shops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, God, get me! You're not. It's not for fighting. It's it's for you know, going out. You know, having fun time. <laughs> but <laughs> I like. I well, I enjoy fighting. And he just goes. Yeah. Uh, I imagine it would end up that way. Like. Krillin wants to take her to expensive places and all that, and I imagine like it'd she be similar would... to actually that um that uh team uh TFS um thing with uh Krillin and eighteen where Krillin and eighteen where they go to that fancy restaurant, but at the end of the day, they just go out for burgers. Yeah, and I imagine only instead of going out for burgers, right? Uh, Gammy would be like, I, I, I'm i gonna go use the bathroom or something. And then she would walk out, and Krillin, because he can sense energy, knows that she just stepped outside and she's just kind of standing there, he would go out and meet her and be like, what's wrong? And Krillin, she's like, I'm... I'm not really Boma. Huh? Well, I mean, I like hanging out with you a lot. And I like it when we train, but I don't really like putting on these dresses and and the earrings and the Makeup. other stuff that Bulma wants to dress me up with as long as I'm hanging out with you that's all I really care about and then you know Krillin would be like hmm and then just give her a slug in the arm and she'd be like ow what was that for well you want to train right come on let's go find a spot yeah they just and, yeah, that that would that would get to Genmei, and uh, she would take off the shoes, take off the earrings, and all that, put it aside, and she'd be fighting in her dress, and Krillin would be fighting in his suit. Yeah, they'd be sparring, and then, then people walking by, going like, "What on earth?" And after after the crowd is there, like after they get done, and they're smiling, they realize they got a crowd, and that's when Krillin's like, "Oh, uh, she's." The World Martial Arts Tournament winner. Yeah, and I, I came... I came third. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'd just fly off like, oh, oh let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that, that. They, would, they would get on the Nimbus. Yeah. And, and yeah. They, would, they would head back. And uh, that's basically what their dates would be yeah. as training. And, and Berlin's happy just, with that. Just throw it, it just throw in uh, again, maybe beating up a bunch of thugs. At some point. Oh, yeah. At some point. Because he would... I, yeah, with Genmei being, you know, a woman in this, of course there are going to be a bunch of, you know, those... Uh, you know, thugs mm. again. Oh, easy pickings. And they're getting... Their ass is handed to them by a... By a girl. By a woman. Yep, and uh, here's a thought. The, uh, the, the farming business in Super actually starts earlier. Oh. Because Krillin doesn't... Can't, doesn't have a job, and they're in the middle of the woods. Yeah. So I imagine he would he would start a farm, so that they could feed themselves. Other than you know hunting, because yeah. I imagine Genmei would be fine for hunting. hunting. And in the middle of like getting one of the big fish to feed them, she would come back and realize Krillin is sprinkling little pebbles into dirt holes. What? Hmm. What? <laughs> what are you talking like, about? What are you doing? It's like oh well. I figure if we're going to rough it out here in the woods, we should grow some of our own plants. You know, vegetables. Vegetables? Huh. 
<laughs> and she goes, vegetables? Because she, she's only used to really eating berries and stuff like that. And and apples. and Yeah. And, well, I mean, she would still know what veggies are, because I imagine... Gohan. If not yeah. Bulma, then the several hundred thousand zenny she blew at the dinner table a couple of times... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She would know what vegetable also monster carrot. Yeah, she would know what a vegetable is. <laughs> monster carrot, yeah. She knows what a carrot <laughs> But so, what would be funny is if she doesn't like carrots just because of monster carrot. She's like Her name is Kakarot. Her name uh... is Karat. Her name is Karat <laughs> and she hates carrots. Yeah. But still she would she would learn to uh help Krillin out with the um Krillin would teach her how to preserve some food. Yeah, so she you know, Krillin's basically teaching her, okay, you don't have to always rough it. You can just sometimes Yeah, there are easier ways. There are easier ways, yes. And thanks to knowing Balma, they can get Capsule Corp out there to get some fucking electricity. Um oh, you know, so... yeah. Bal yeah, Balma would probably Okay, you're not living in the dark ages. No, you're yeah, getting electricity. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna hook this we're gonna hook this house up. Um, with a generator, you know, it'd be great. Uh, but she would actually help Krillin with the farm business. And when they're not training, they're farming. And in and of itself, like, kind of like how Piccolo and Goku did, and then it ended up being Piccolo and Krillin because Goku is Goku. They would incorporate the farming with their training. Well, so they wouldn't, they wouldn't just, um... They wouldn't, like, Goku wouldn't just disappear for five years. Like, he, she Not would interact. Like she, she would interact with others. Yeah, I imagine it would be more like two. Because, like, after two years living with Krillin, right? So we still have three, we still have three years to go. Yeah. Uh, before Rabbit shows up. Two years living with Krillin. I imagine she would realize that Krillin kind of misses, you know, city life and all that. Yeah. That's when she would go to Bulma. And Bulma would be like, oh, well, yeah, he was more like, he was more technologically advanced than you. Sure, he was a monk, he was but a monk. yeah, but he lived in the city. He so. he still got a taste of city life and he liked it. So let me get someone from Capsule Corp over to your house. I'm sure we can make it more homey for him. Yeah, yeah. You know, she'd pick out some some. Uh, she'd pick out a basic home shape, right? Yep. She'd pick out uh, a good kitchen design a good living room design some bedrooms beds you know the works the works she would give her friend the works and yeah. that would help put a smile on krillin's face though this brings up another point do you think they would end up ax i, I imagine it'd be an accidental kid like <laughs> yeah G gohan is an accidental yeah I I, first off Whenever they do have the kid, yes, it would be named Gohan. It'd be named Gohan, because... and it would be a boy. It... Yeah. The only difference in that scene is there's no Ox King. No Ox King, no. So both her and Krillin are just flabbergasted. What do we call this child? What do we call this child? And then, like, I imagine Genmei would just look at the 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 dragon ball and be like grandpa gohan i wish you were here and as soon as the mention of gohan happens the kid giggles yeah. in krillin's hands though, you know oh god though um the idea that uh <laughs> just get me having to wait like i don't know nine how long do you say how long do you say in pregnancies last they're not long not long like six um, seven months i would think even sooner i hate to tell you because if you think about it, they would they would wait. Uh, factually speaking, they would wait about a month and a half to two months before the baby was transferred to a pod. Yeah, this time Genmei doesn't actually have that option. Yeah, so I imagine if they were... Because the Saiyan, Saiyan blood means they need to be ready for battle sooner, meaning the kid has to grow up sooner. So I imagine instead of nine months, I would say five, maybe maybe six months for a longer pregnancy yeah when it comes down to sands plus it is a I it would... is a half it is you know half human yeah so. it is a half saiyan but when it comes down to yeah. uh it's how much gohan of... got from his father in the canon 
Yeah, Gohan it's would like... still have the rage boosts. That would still yeah. be a thing. Though, the idea of Bulma discovering, like, one day that, like, oh, Gain May is pregnant. Okay, that's okay. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my but god! It would happen after they got their house from Bulma, and yeah. you know they would they would they would be seeing Bulma more often. And she, Bulma's like, and be like, oh my god, she's a parent. I, I imagine like behind closed door, like Genme, Genme is is in the middle of like a hot bath, kind of like what Goku did in the in one of the movies where it's just it's a barrel, there's a fire. Yeah. hot water hot you know water. chilling out like that yeah and uh her and krillin are inside like talking about it and Bulma's was like so how is living with genmei and krillin would kind of just freeze be like Bulma, i think there's something that you need to explain to her because i can't why can't you because you're a woman what what? What? what and does that's it look? when he, that's when he tell her, this is what Genmei is about to go through. Oh. And of course, Bulma would be like, oh, 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 <laughs> okay. Would this um, be like age seven, five, and nine, or something? Or age seven? When does Raditz show up? Uh, age seven, six, one. So we got a few. We got a little time. Yeah. I would say five. Yeah, seven five nine sounds right. Yeah, born in age seven sixty, um, or something like that. I, I would say midway through seven five nine. Midway, because yeah. if we're, we're, we would be talking about seven five eight, they would get the upgrade for their their house. Yeah, and Bulma would be showing up more often after they get the upgrade of their house. You know, there being a little more room in the house. You know, like Krillin would have yeah done the moves and. Uh, because Genmei started to show, that's why Krillin would tell Bulma, you, you need to tell her what the hell she's about to go through. Oh, yeah. Because I can't. He's <laughs> like, I, I, I cannot. I, I, I've tried several times. And I, I feel like this is a girl on girl conversation at this point. Yeah. So. Yeah, Bulma would would ask her, "Hey, did you and Krillin?" Yeah. It's like, why you, wasn't that you... training? <laughs> she just. Yeah. I, I think she knows. I think she knows. You know what? Koi she is. she would have an idea, but she wouldn't know entirely what she was at. What what was going on? Yeah. You know. Well, she and. Knows. Uh, it's a, it's a so, miracle Goku even had kids to begin with. Yeah, right. So, I, I couldn't imagine how Chi Chi did it. Um, but yeah, Gohan would be born a, I would say, early, like, if this happened mid-759. So like May. Early 760. May, June. Yeah. Of age 760. Yep. Yeah. So that, that way, at least when Raditz shows up, the kid is... Well, almost I, two. It was almost two. I was gonna say. Well, I thought you said age seven five nine is the birthday. Well, I said seven five nine for um. The, oh right, the seven, conception. Yeah. Seven five, yeah seven five nine for the conception. And then. And it would be early seven sixty that the born Wait, the, the, the on, child yeah. was born. Early, yeah, so like March. I was thinking. And again, because of the Saiyan cells, even though the kid's gonna almost be two. He will have, you know, be able to walk. Power level of 10 as well. Yep, power level of 10. Um, also, I imagine Genmei... Well, I imagine this would be a reverse than what you would typically expect for the human relationship. Genmei would be like, okay, but when do we start his training? He's only one and a half years old, Genmei. But he's walking... And he's got a full head of hair. And he's got a tail. He's got a... <laughs> yeah, I mean... But Genmei would want to train with her son. Yeah. And this time, there's but... no Chi-Chi stopping Genmei from training at him. But there is a then... Krillin stopping Genmei from doing it. <laughs> yeah, at the same... yeah, and be fair, yeah. Krillin would not allow his 
is like infant son to be trained. Like, you know, because he's literally like a infant. Yeah. He's... Yeah. Now. So. Yeah. So that's. Now, now comes age uh, 761. Age 761. Age 761. Well, it was late 761 that read it. October. October. Yeah, okay. So late 761, almost 762. That's why I said, you know, Gohan would be almost two years old. Yeah, so he'd be like yeah, um, one and a half. Yeah. So, Raditz, uh, everything was great until the Raditz attacked. Yeah, and that's until Raditz shows up. <laughs> Call him Masako, why don't you? <laughs> yeah, Masako. Because uh, it's always it's all sunshine and rainbows until Raditz shows up on Earth. Yeah. So, and this time, to get his little sister. Mm-hmm. Or... I imagine, like, Vegeta would... Would would Vegeta hold the mission off for longer though? No, that's my question. I don't think so. Why? I, I don't. I don't. Well, the reason why I say so is because it, if if a female Saiyan survived, and he knows something was up as far as Frieza was concerned, and they end up seeing that the Saiyan race can survive, I don't think would Frieza it would do something. I don't think it would change Frieza. Doesn't give a shit about Raditz, I don't think. He's way too weak to even be bothered with. Yeah, that's why that's why he was the one to be sent. Yeah. To go get Genme. Alright, fair enough. Oh. Um so late seven six one. God oh, uh know. Raditz shows up. They're all they're all at, at I imagine they're all at, at Capsule Corporation because Bulma is more integral to the plot in this one. Yep, and the yeah, and Roshi's there, but it's uh now Yamcha, yeah, would Yamcha makes be there? The trip. Would Yamcha be there, or did Bulma and him break up in this? I imagine Bulma and him broke up by this point. Yeah, and I think that would be a surprise thing because Tien wouldn't have taken Chi Chi's advances, so Chi Chi would, you know, Chi Chi was a lone soul. Yamcha was a lone soul. I would set those two up at this point. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's set them up. Over the course of the five-year gap, they she don't was have, realizing they, that she's not going to get dating. what she wants out of Tien. They're only dating, though. So Yeah, they're only dating. Yeah. There's no kid between them. No kid. No kid yet. Um, yeah, not, not yet. Um, but they're dating. They also train intensely. So Yamcha's a little better. Yeah. But Yamcha wouldn't be at the party, because already broke up with Bulma. So you would still have the the usual cavalcade. You would have Roshi. I imagine Turtle would want to get out the island for a little bit. He'd be in a, like a in, in like one of those kid uh, pools or something. Or I mean, you're talking about a multi millionaire. Might even be in like in any of the ponds. Oh god. Because <laughs> doesn't Turtle <laughs> Bulma have a big friggin' yeah, pond? Yeah, no, I'm just imagining event? Turtle. I'm just imagining Turtle in, in a pool, sipping on like a, a, a margar like margarita and sunglasses <laughs> on. I need another fancy umbrella for this drink. <laughs> as, oh. as he shakes it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, he would be he would be uh, enjoying himself yeah. in this sort of resort-esque vacation yeah yeah and Bulma would be talking about you know hey shouldn't you remove his tail and of course Genmei was like well I wanted to but Krillin thinks that would be a little bit too cruel to, to put on the child so we've just been keeping him away from the full moon well Genmei doesn't know about the full moon remember oh I imagine Genmei, and well then, you I imagine keep... Genmei would be like, oh, I don't see any reason why the, the tail needs to go. Unless Krillin, and... unless Krillin decided to tell his wife? Yeah. Would they be married? Well, since she doesn't have a tail, that conversation would never come up. And at the point, uh, at that point, he would ask Bulma about it, and Bulma would be like, just keep the kid away from the full moon. Just keep the kid away from the full moon. Because okay. Krillin has not seen the Uzaru. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's when she would be warned. Actually, no, Krillin did see the Ozaru, didn't? No, didn't the... no, they, no Ozaru during the twenty first. Oh, well, see, this is why you watch part one. Yes, you watch part one <laughs> first. This is why you watch part one because I forgot about that detail. Um, so 
Uh, Krillin would be told, just keep the boy's eyes off the full moon. Okay. Okay. So that conversation goes, uh, like, goes, like, hey, have you considered removing his tail? And then Genmei would be like, well, he's still too little. I remember the only reason, the only reason I got rid of my tail is because Kami said to get rid of my tail before the training. Mm. So, yeah, I don't... And Krillin won't let me train with him yet. And I was like, <laughs> your son is only like a, a year and a half old. He's old. Yeah, but he's already running around and stuff. He needs to be a little bit rougher, you know? I uh, mean, I survived in the woods when I was a kid, uh, all alone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fair, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was like, that's fair, but... Yeah, just, he's the only... But you were, what? How old? When I when I found you, and it'd be just a conversation of like trying to get get me to understand that. Well, yes, you you did live in the wilderness a long time. You you didn't. You weren't a. You were a baby when you were of Gohan. So it's like, it's like Genme. You need to, just need to understand. You can't train him. Just wait a few years. You need to wait for him to grow up first. Yeah, like wait until I don't know. Wait until age four at least. Yeah. And even then, very, you know, light training. And that's where Doctor Briefs comes in and says, "I hope you're old. Or you're all old enough to enjoy a nice feast." That the lunchtime is served, and you know they start eating. And as Raditz gets closer, he smells the bouquet. Oh god, yeah, it's like of food. Ah, uh, he would like, he would run into Piccolo first. Yep, yeah, he would run into Piccolo. That would happen, and then he would fly off towards Capsule Corp. To the to the after uh, sensing oh two, two large power levels. Two large power levels. Yeah. Yep, and uh, they, he would catch up with the crew. They would, um, they would stop before even getting one morsel in their mouth. Like, both Krillin, because Krillin and Genmei can sense energy at this point. Yeah. Would sense Raditz approaching. Like, that is an immense power level. Roshi take would also... Gohan inside now. Yeah, they take Bulma. Eh, hey, actually, they would probably just take Gohan inside. It's not like... Yeah. It's only a baby as well, so it's not like uh, he can just run off and like go, Mommy! So, Gohan's not an issue in this case. Right. So, Gohan... Uh, Gohan would be inside. I imagine Gohan would only be an issue after Mommy gets hurt. Mommy gets hurt, He yes. would run out. And then he'd maybe say, Leave my mommy alone! Leave mommy alone! And, and Leave he, daddy alone! And he goes, and he does actually go for, for rage boost for, like... It just, just for, because both of his parents... God, imagine Raditz getting hit in the chest by an, a literal infant. <laughs> like, a yeah, I imagine... Yeah, yeah. That, he would get hit and be like, Oh, you're strong. I like that. You know, she, he would shake it off. Yeah. Because I imagine it wouldn't be, like, a straight-on chest hit. I imagine, like, he would be... He would have knocked Krillin away. Yep. And gut-punched uh, Genmei. With his back turned, the headbutt would actually hit him in the back. And he would, like, because Saiyans are... Typically, when you get hit in the back, it's less of an impact than if you're hit in the front. Yeah. So he would be able to shake that off better, turn around, and realize a friggin' child did that. Infant. A, li a literal infant. Yeah. So he he would grab the child like he does in the the original, and says, you want the kid? Come get me. Kill a hundred humans. After you kill about a hundred mortals. Yeah, hundred yeah, earthlings. Kill a hundred Earth earthlings. Yeah. Kill a hundred earthlings, and then come get your child. Yeah, and that's when and then Piccolo... that's when Piccolo would show up. And this time, Krillin would come along. Yeah, there would be three people. Because, yeah, Krillin ain't just going to leave that. He's going to uh, go after his son. That's his son as well. Right, so we are 
just about approaching the two hour mark and it is late on my time so i think this is a good spot to yes. end with krillin piccolo and genmei going to rescue gohan and from the evil clutches of raditz the evil clutches of raditz yeah K kicking off z kicking off z. in the next part yeah and that's going to be fun to oh that's gonna be a lot of fun to talk about yeah because we got up we got up to z now yep yeah yeah awesome but thank you for inviting me on this adventure through adventure yeah <laughs> through female goku female goku because yeah not a lot yep. has changed so far but like no it's... not but there there's things here and there that add to it yeah that peel off get, especially peel off being a good also, guy i mentioned that peel, That's kinda... i mentioned the tournament was rebuilt so there was a 24th world martial arts tournament jury yeah, yeah there was a 24th and a 25th you no, know peel off would be like ah, i think it would have only been money. it would have only been like three years so age seven five nine would have been when the 24th would have taken place with and yamcha would have won yamcha or chat <laughs> or chi chi i think chi chi should win that one Chi Chi, yeah, the Ox King would would live in splendor as far as that's concerned, because after the Fire Mountain incident, that he'd need a new home. A seven six two will be when the next tournament takes place. Yes. Um, Though maybe I'll say that it, 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 it there's a larger gap because the upgrades to the tournament need to be done. So it's like the well, thing is, by that point, Pilaf's in money. In money, you know. Yeah, he's. He, He's during in money. Three, he's the... getting contracts from King Furry. Between... He's ready. To... <laughs> between the he's making 24th, a business. <laughs> between the twenty fourth and twenty fifth, that's when he upgrades it. So, yes. Yeah. But that's when he upgrades it to what we see in Z. Yeah. Well, uh, see ya. And yep, that was good. That was good. And, uh, awesome. Be sure you stay before you stay tuned for the third part if you like what you're hearing. Yes hope you like what you hear otherwise um no i think this is a great timeline i i like yeah, i like that timeline especially the funny bits <laughs> the funny yep. bits yeah well uh so see ya and you, you have a good one